up? It's Faith Chief here, and welcome back to episode 4 of Trading to Team of the Season Aguero, or Road to a Million Coins. If you're enjoying this series, make sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know what you want to see next in this series and what videos you want to see on the channel. So, in this episode, we're going to be showing you more trading methods to get easy coins. As you can see, we're up to 119, 118,000 coins, and we have a ton of stuff in the club and some more stuff to submit that we've just gotten. So, to start off this episode, we did finish some more SBCs, and I'm going to show you guys the teams that I've used to do this. We got the loyal lads done, as you know from last episode. We didn't have the players that we needed from the packs because they did need loyalty. But here we have a player from the English 2nd League, 3rd League, and 4th League. So we can submit all of these, and we get the two silver players back. And what pack do we get for completing the set here? It's probably some garbage loan player pack, but... Yes, it is a garbage loan player pack, actually. So, after that we have the last basic SBC here. Some pretty easy ones here I'd say you just need a bunch of players from the same league and different nations in this SBC so I did the Austrian league here I believe I pulled these three players from packs and then bought these two on the left so we'll go ahead and submit that over here we have the one nation midfield ooh we did lose a player there that we submitted in a different one. We need an English fourth league. Let's see who we have. If we have any, a center back might get us the chemistry. Center mid should. Well, and center mid does get us the chemistry. So there we go. A 7.5k pack for that one. So we go ahead and submit that. And then the last SBC we completed here is the multi league and nation. So here, I just had a strong link down here, strong link up here, got 40 chemistry off those guys, and then you get 7 each off of these two. Well, this one has 6 because he doesn't have loyalty, but you, you understand it. And then you needed a 55 rating, so I had to throw some gold players in with my bronzes. Especially since you have the, uh, the blocks here. So we go ahead and submit that. I believe we get another 7.5k pack for that, so we have two 7.5k packs. And then I think we get some, like, prime mixed players pack. Just a mixed players pack, even worse. <laughs> we only get one rare from that. And then there was something at Foot Central. Maybe I just forgot it. No big deal. Okay, so we have six packs. First, let me show you guys the transfer list, what we've sold. Again, we did more of these Stade Rennes players, just more bidding on them. If you don't know what that is, first or second episode, we go really in depth with it it's a really easy way to make coins and then here is our bronze pack method which is going to be this episode this is the easiest way to make coins on FIFA you don't really have to do anything you get tons of coins so we're going to talk about that today and how you can just sell bronzes and make hundreds of thousands of coins right after we pop open these packs we have plenty of time left in this video so we're going to get this lone player out of the way oh we do have items to deal with so what do we have Okay, these are the guys that I didn't get to list up. So we're just gonna, I don't really know the prices of them at this time. I knew them early in the day. If you guys don't know, prices fluctuate a ton throughout the day, especially with these SBCs. It just depends how many people are on and purchasing the players. So here we go with our premium loan player reward pack. We probably won't end up using any of these loan players as we are going to get Team of the Season Aguero once we get all those coins. We're just going to discard this stuff, to be honest. Once we get up to Aguero, then we're going to try and build the best team around him that we can until we get to FIFA 20 and see what's going on. Once we get there, we'll probably just be running a normal road to glory on that, trying to build our account up, get the best team possible, while showing you guys how to manage your club and get the most coins and get the most out of your experience, basically. So here again, a bunch of untradeable stuff. We're just going to get rid of these things that we don't really want filling up our club. Oh, that was tradable, actually, which is nice. I should have checked if there were, uh, what should we call it, marquee matchups players, because a lot of those are going for a ton, so we'll check after this. If we pack a Bayern player, we are in the money. 10k a player, no matter what. Again untradeable for those this is probably untradeable but the next premium gold pack is tradable i believe 
I think they should just make all of these tradable because it's really just a bunch of garbage packs. This one is tradable, so we're gonna... Another good way to make coins here, guys, silver packs. A lot of people would just store these to their club and forget about them. But you have to remember, these league SBCs, players will be going for a ton. So that was a German league player. Here we have a French league player. 1,200 is his minimum. 800. So we can list them for 700. Put the bid a little lower to make sure he sells. And there we go. Here we have Portuguese league. You just want to check all these leagues because tons of players are selling. Because people want to get these new league SBC players. They've been putting new players into the SBCs. So a lot of players are selling. And even if the players don't sell, this will help me complete more SBCs later on. So it's just great to have your club stock players. Don't always just sell every player or quick sell players. It's good to just have a ton of players sitting in your club. I doubt this guy will even go for that much, but we're just going to see what happens. There's only one of them on the market. Now, once we finish this, we're, we are going to jump into the bronze packs. If you guys don't know, one of my biggest videos on my channel is my bronze pack method overview. So if you want to see a full video on this, you're going to go check out that. You'll be able to see it. It's got second. Oh my gosh, we got a walkout. Wait, is this a team? We got a team of the season. Portugal, center mid. Jao Matinho, perfect. Now he's not an expensive one. I'm pretty sure he's like 25 or 30k. But that's a team of the season player for us. Another, I believe... Oh my goodness. Can you believe it? Look at this pack. That's unbelievable. Was that a 7.5k pack? How much is he going for? This guy's probably discard, so we can just discard him. And then Jao Matinho, we're just going to list up. We can probably get about that much for him. There we go, guys. Another step towards Aguero. That's at least 40k right there. Again, last pack here. That was an unbelievable 7.5k pack. That is crazy. So, last pack here. When I saw a walkout, I was shocked. That is... You don't see something like that every day, guys. Two special cards and a 7.5k back. That's nearly impossible. All right. Let's finish this up. We got some silver players here. Again, just tons of coins from these silver players. Premier League's a big one right now because they put that Felipe Anderson in. Everybody wants that card. He's incredible. I know one of my friends has been trying to get him. He's been doing that league SBC. Lastly here, we'll just check this rare player. We'll honestly just list him up, see if he sells. So guys, those were our packs. Let's jump into the trading method here. So we do have some room on the transfer list here. So basically what you do is you just open bronze packs, if you don't know. You open bronze pack packs and you need to know what sells. So that's what we're going to be talking about. Know all of the league SBCs. That is number one thing you need to know when doing this. Know the league SBCs. Know every single one so that you know which players are going to sell. And just have a general idea of the live squad building challenges that are out right now. So Chinese league SBC, this guy. So this pack was 400. This guy's going to sell. Boom. We'll list him up for 750. The cheapest one's 950. Boom. There's profit. I typically quick sell all the contracts because I don't want to clutter things up. Ooh, that's a, another big thing. FIFA 20, bulk quick selling of consumables. So I could just send all those contracts to club, and whenever I want to, I can just quick sell all the bronze contracts I have at once. Now, I am pretty experienced in this, so I kind of move through it. You might need some time to get used to kind of checking out the players, knowing what sells. And you know that I've done a lot of it. You've seen my transfer list before this. It takes time. It's not going to be profit every single pack. It's profit over a long period of time. It's again what I talk about. It's not always about the quality of the sale. It's about the quantity. A lot of trading is just volume selling, like the marquee matchups players this week. If I'm getting 600, player, 600 coins a player and I can do it nonstop, just volume selling, then it's easy. 10 players, I get 6,000 coins like that. 100 players, 60,000 coins. It just moves super quickly. Again, Scottish Premier League here. No. 
Again, we just click all these. Another coin unlock here. That's a big part of this. And then squad fitnesses are big to get. And then from this, I use this throughout the whole year almost for my fitness base. I would just get individual player fitnesses and I'd never have to buy fitnesses. So every time I got squad fitnesses from gold packs, silver packs, bronze packs, I could just sell them on. It's a really easy way to fill your club up to do easy SBCs. Like all these basic SBCs, I've barely had to buy any players because I've had all the players in my club from these. So basically this just benefits your club in every way possible and you barely have to do anything. It's the easiest way to make coins. Again, it's not the instant profit a lot of people are looking for, but it's over a long period of time. You might be thinking, how are you going to get to Aguero from just selling bronze players? But you can see we're four episodes in. What, they're ten minute episodes, basically. And we are almost there. Now that we have this coin base, you might say not almost there. But we're able to do even more and more trading because you have more coins. It's a lot easier to do this volume selling when you have a lot. Because obviously when I'm at a thousand coins, I can only buy two players for 500 coins each. But when I have a hundred thousand coins... I'm just sitting there, I can buy as many players as I want and sell them on as my transfer list opens up. One of the difficulties with it though, is that with this new account, I don't have a big transfer list. I only have 40 spots right now, when on my other account, I would have 100 spots because I have more EAS FC points. If you guys don't know what that is, I did a couple of videos on the easiest way to make coins in Ultimate Team. You go up to the catalog, you just purchase things without using Ultimate Team Coins. It really helps your club out. And I can do another video on that on this series if you guys want to see that. So just let me know. I'm just looking for the easiest way to help you guys build your clubs up. So we're going to do probably one more pack here. And then that's going to be it for this video. Again, we made huge coins this video. We submitted all the basic SBCs. We're going to be able to do the advanced ones soon once we start doing some more upgrade packs and whatnot, get more gold players in the club. So we finished all the basics. We packed two special cards in one 7.5k pack, which is still just unbelievable. That, that's just mind-boggling to me. <laughs> and we've made a good profit from bronze packs here. I'll go and show you the transfer list after this. And we have tons of fitness cards for when we start playing games, once we get that Aguero. So, head to the transfer list here. Three things have sold. Again, it just takes time. See, we've got, what, 2150, 2350 coins there. That makes up for six packs, pretty much. And then we have all of these silver players. We have a team of the season listed. We have more silver players. And we have all these bronze guys. And you guys saw my transfer list before. So... That's going to be it for this episode. As you can see, the club is stacked now. We're getting tons of coins in. We're getting tons of players. We're listing players up, and we're building the club up. You want to fill your club up with players. Just get tons of guys into your club. As you can see here, we're filling it up, being able to do SBCs and stuff like that. So that's going to be it for episode four. If you're excited for episode five, make sure to leave it in the comments. If you're enjoying this, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and thank you for watching.